disclaimer content i will be reading from the will nigeria.com then i will later analyze it i am talking about messi aibe married to asim adeoti so the will recorded on january 2nd 2022 nollywood actress and entrepreneur messi aibe seems to have found love again after she left her marriage of five years the actress who was formerly married to top hotel larry gentry left her marriage in 2017 on allegations of domestic violence and infidelity the mother of two is rumored to be in a relationship with a movie producer kasim adeuti the boss of Adeka's production, a movie production outfit. The two have allegedly been together for a while now, and yet is hardly any movie produced by Kasim that has not featured the actress. She often plays lead roles in his movie. Kasim has also produced some of Messi's movies and always attends her events. He doesn't hesitate to celebrate her for any little achievement on his social media space. Mercy in turn calls him boss and he is one she allegedly refers to as the owner. Most of her social media posts while hailing herself as Agbeke Aya the owner. Although Kasim has been married for more than 20 years, his relationship with actress Mercy Aibe allegedly poses a threat to his marriage. For Sean Adeoti, name of his first wife, was the movie producer, is a notable fashion designer and the owner of Asiwaju Culture. Her upscale store boasts of high profile Clitele in the National Assembly and social circles. Since she allegedly got to know about her husband's closeness with Mercy Aibe, she has not had peace. She is said to be worried that Mercy might soon become her husband's second wife. So guys, that is a write-up from The Will, Nigeria. So, we are talking about Messi Aibe now, a popular Nigerian actress who was once married, as I said, and uh, she divorced her husband. So, she had an interview with TVC talk show with host Mora Yo, Afolabi, and every other person that were there. So, in that interview, she said they were never friends. That is to say, the man's first wife and Mercy herself were never friends, as in speculation that people said she snatched her best friend's husband. So, she said nothing like that, that they only met in an occasion whereby one of the marketers of uh, her husband's uh, company invited them for a birthday party. So that was how they met. So she said that moreover, her husband is entitled to take more than one wife as a Muslim. That is their belief and that is what the Muslims and the public have come to accept. And that the first wife had issues with the husband so she is trying to tell us that she wasn't the cause of the breakup of the marriage between the first wife and um, her husband so that the man is a muslim so he can even marry a third wife if the need be that is how they believe and i believe also that that is how muslims operates in nigeria because i see her few muslim friends they take more than one wife if their belief is their way of life so people should accept that okay we the christians 
we do one man, one wife. And sometimes if the marriage is not working out fine for you, you can divorce and remarry. Because the Bible even said that you can divorce your partner on grounds of infidelity as a Christian. It's recorded in the Bible. So as for the Muslims, they can divorce, marry, continue to marry until Jesus tarries. So she said that people should stop her spoiling her name that she did not snatch the man has been speculated. And then she further said that this lover who is the big time speculator of this husband's snatching stuff that said that husband's snatching is in their DNA that Messi Aibe's mother too even snatched a friend's uh, husband that she married. So Messi now came for this lover and was like, please, if you know you want to insult me, you can insult me as Messi. Don't get my family members involved. Don't draw my mother into the picture. Don't draw my children to, into the picture that she will not take it. So Mercy said that if this lover was paid to ridicule her, that this lover should be mindful of the type of gist he or she posts about her. That this lover should not tarnish her image. She is innocent of all accusations of husband snatching. That she never colored Kasim from a Foncho. So it is love from both sides and the religion of Kasim as a Muslim permits it. So TVC host Afolabi said that Mercy Aibwe spoke with her and was asking, shouldn't she as Mercy deserve to be happy? That is a big question. And we all know that in the society we find ourselves today, one of the most happy moments for the life of a woman is for her to settle down with a man she calls her own, even though the man is married or not in as much as they are deeply in love she is ready to share her life with the man it's obvious that mercy is even willing to share the cassava with the first wife because she knows that there was already a woman in the house even though she said they had issue but we have not heard that they have been separated or divorced that is to say, I not marry again. She knows, so she's ready to dance to the tune of the music, my people. So as for the lady, that is um, the first wife right now. She posted something on an IG and it says, He can marry whoever he wants, I don't care. But robbing Peter to pay Paul is not okay. So guys... Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Does it mean that it was the first wife for sure that made her husband, Mr. Kansim, financially? Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Does it mean that it was true her Kansim met Mercy? Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Does it also mean that it was Mercy? Who collected her husband because she opened her arms to welcome mercy? Or does it mean that she was used by both of them? I don't really get it, robbing Peter to pay Paul. But to the best of my knowledge, when that statement is used by somebody, it means that you took advantage of of somebody's kindness and gave it out to another person. Yes. Robbing Peter to pay Paul is to arm someone in order to do good to another or better still to take something that was meant for one person 
and you use it to pay for something else that is my understanding so i don't really know what she is driving at by that statement guys he could also be taking advantage of someone's weaknesses to please another person so guys drop your own thoughts about this situation thanks for watching till the end i will see you in the next one god willing goodbye